just the new teapot beeping. It boils fast, but that beep bothers me. Moving on? So, next I want to raise this problem, which is that I think we don't have enough smart representation from materialist atheists, physicalists, anything in that neighborhood of ideas. And I've been trying to do something about that, but it's hard. The problem is that most coherent atheist screeds are focused on defeating some specific idea of God or are angry about the historical activities of organized religions rather than, say, from first principles, making a good case for the impossibility of any concept of God, which would be more like what we're after. Uh, I'm having the same problem. So many justifications of atheism devolve into assertions of the implausibility of Bible stories. Someone like Bertrand Russell, a very advanced thinker, but his commentary on religion all seems to be like why I am not a Christian. Very limited in scope. It is way too small compared to the vision of God and the pieces we're juxtaposing. Can you, can you repeat that last part? You kind of just dropped out a little bit. Oh, just that it's a very provincial idea of God that's usually advanced in those arguments. Sometimes even a straw man God. And it doesn't have much in common with the God visualized by Kuza or Spinoza or the great Sufis or even Einstein, whoever. So it just doesn't play on the same field. When people are explicitly pushing materialism, they're usually philosophers or writers, not physicists, not people who actually do the frontline work of understanding the physical world. With the heavy hitters in physics, it's very hard. It's hard to find good statements that aren't just arguing against straw men. And it's strange because in the modern age, a reasonable portion of working physicists are atheists. Not all by any means, but a reasonable portion. But it's hard to get strong and articulate statements from that sector. Yeah. I mean, the closest you get is somebody like Feynman, where science gives us a great degree of certainty about certain things. But outside those, it's not a good idea to tell ourselves nice stories and speculate. It's just best to realize we don't know yet about the bigger questions, you know, etc. But uh, we have a lot of Feynman already. Ooh, Paul Dirac was at least a staunch atheist at one point in his life, but I don't know if he has direct statements on record. I'll keep an eye out. Dirac was far from a materialist, though. He believed the universe is made out of math. That's an oversimplification, of course. He even mentioned God a few times in an Einstein kind of way. Well, this is all so crazy because among scientifically educated people, it's the cultural default, right? If you're a scientist or a computer programmer kind of person, atheist materialism is supposed to be the basic belief. If you're not a materialist, you're stupid. But if we can't find anyone who makes a good case for it, how does that happen? Well, it's easy to be convinced of the absurdity of stories in common Christianity, Judaism, whatever. So if that's your picture of spiritual beliefs and you have an aversion to digging too hard into your own worldview, which most of us do, then there you go. Anything that seems religious is goofy Bible stories and materialism is anti-religious. And it's the general impression that smart people are materialists and uh, hey, I want to be smart, so case closed. Also, there are all these so-called spiritual people who believe basically anything and try to convince everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. In addition to goofy Bible stories, did I forget to mention ghost stories, astrologers, spoonbenders, and all kinds of frauds? It's a ton of noise. It makes it almost impossible for an outsider looking in to see high-quality thought in the world of spirituality. If I can even generalize spirituality to one thing, so it's easy, if you're already leaning toward materialism, to see these flaky spiritual people, extrapolate that to all spiritual people, and say all that stuff is garbage. Hmm? That's how it worked for me, for a while. Okay, but despite all this, there's a large contingent of present-day real scientists who believe in some form of atheist materialism and whose beliefs have been carefully considered. So we need to ensure we respect that viewpoint. It's I so remember frustrating. That... Oh, sorry. No, 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 you, you go. Oh, um, I was just going to say, Carl Sagan has a good piece in um, 
Demon Haunted World, where he talks about science as a profound source of spirituality. But he doesn't mean mystical spirituality. He means this pure dedication to truth and the development of a wise perspective on our place in the world. It's nice. And it's a, a picture of atheism that isn't hostile or contemptuous. Yeah, I read that, and what you're talking about is a beautiful piece, and I tried to get it, but Sagan's people want too much money. Can't we just pay more? No. It would trigger a bunch of most favored nation clauses, and we have to pay everyone a lot more, and we go broke. So, no Sagan for us. It is a shame, since he was such a great thinker, and eloquent, too, 